Hello everybody. In this video, we will see a question based on isometric view. So the question is a combination of a solids. The question is over a hexagonal prism of base edge 25 mm and height 60 mm, a, a sphere of diameter 40 mm is resting centrally. Draw the isometric view of the of the combination. Now, since it is a hexagonal pr prism, first you draw a hexagon of 25 mm base edge. With the one base edge parallel. So first you draw this hexagon with the base edge parallel. Now project all these points, this one, this these all points to the base reference line, and draw the front view of the hexagon also. So this is the top view of the hexagon, hexagonal uh, pr prism, and this is the front view of the hexagonal prism. Now over that, a sphere of diameter 40 mm is resting centrally. So uh, locate the center of the center line here. Draw the center line. Use chain line to draw center line now from here you mark 20 mm above that point a center you draw a circle of radius 20 mm or diameter 40 mm now same point this is the front view and same uh, circle in top view we can get a, cir a, con a circle concentric circle like this 20 mm radius so this is the uh, the top view of the combination of solids and this is the front view of this combination of solids so here you do the dimensioning 25 mm base edge height 60 mm and also diameter 40 mm so this is the of top view and front view of the combination of solids hexagon with 25 mm base edge uh, top view and height 60 mm front view then a circle or a sphere with a, a radius 40 mm concentric sphere or a circle in in, in front view uh, the circle will be above the hexagon hexagonal uh, prism okay now this is the front view and top view now to draw the isometric view first you first you want to enclose this hexagon inside a box you enclose this hexagon inside a box like this okay now here we enclose this hexagon inside a box like this. Okay, extend this this line, uh, draw perpendicular lines. You can enclose that hexagon inside a box. Now you you measure the dimension of this line. Okay, since it is uh, uh, since the, the edge length is uh, 45 mm, uh, 25 mm, this line will be 50 mm long because it's a hexagon. So and measure the dimension of this height of this box. Okay, you measure the length and height of this box, length and height of this box. Now take this point as a reference point okay now you draw a now you draw a reference line like this and mark a point there okay now this length of this line you mark towards right side at, at an angle 30 degrees okay here this length this line which is of 50 mm you mark towards this side and height of this one okay that will be around 43 43.4 mm okay this height you mark towards this side okay so this from this base point you draw a line of 50 mm this is 50 mm because it's two times 25 so 50 mm long line towards right side at 30 degrees like this and height this height height of his box not this height okay this height of this box enclosed box that length towards left side at 30 degrees okay now you draw this line and this line at 30 degrees like this now you want to you want to draw a line parallel to this line through this point draw a line parallel to this line through this point and one more line parallel to this line through this point okay first you draw a line parallel to this line through this point and another line parallel to this line through this point you will get a parallelogram like this now since the height of the object is 60 mm you just draw perpendicular lines from all these four points from here 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 and here now you'll get another you now you connect all these top points you will get another box here okay so you got this base now so uh, we got this base rectangle and a top top another 
uh, rectangle here like this okay now here if you see this point okay this point is the midpoint of this line okay this point will be the midpoint of this line now you what you want to do is here uh, you measure this dimension so on measurement you can see approximately that will be uh, i am getting that as 50 12.5 mm okay so here now what do you want to do is here you you measure this dimension this is 12.5 mm so from here you mark a point at 12.5 mm okay from here you mark a point at 12.5 12 another point from here 12.5 okay now what do you want to do is draw a line from the midpoint of this line because here it is midpoint for this uh, this rectangle this is the midpoint in the same way for this line the midpoint is here so you draw you draw a line from the midpoint of this line to this point okay similarly you draw another line from the midpoint of this line to this point okay so you got these two points okay here you got these two points in the same way you mark this 12.5 here it is 12.5 12.5 from here to here and from here to here now a line from midpoint of this line to here this point this point a line from the midpoint of this line from here to this line similarly another line from this point to this point okay so so you got the hexagon okay you got the hexagon now you connect this point to here and this point to here okay so you got the hexagon now we want to draw a similar hexagon on the top face also for that again you consider the midpoint of this line okay here and this is 12.5 and here also 12.5 another point so so from here you mark 12.5 here and another line uh, another uh, here also you mark 12.5 here also you mark 12.5 and here also you mark 12.5 now midpoint of this point this line and midpoint of this line so you will draw another hexagon like this or you can do one thing now here uh, here this line since this height is uh, 60 mm now you, you just will do one thing we will draw lines vertical lines from all these six points okay now we got six points here you connect that you connect that so you got another hexagon here So we got a hexagon here. Now, for this hexagon, some points will be hidden. So we will connect. We will make these lines dotted line because it is inside the hexagon. So these five lines will be dotted line. So we will just make those lines as dotted line. Okay. Now those five lines are dotted lines. Okay. You use dotted lines for showing that, uh, representing that. Okay. So now you got that hexagon. now we will to draw the uh, sphere over this one we just we want to locate the centroid of this hexagon okay so you for this um, top face you we want to locate the centroid so just locate the centroid of that top face here like this now uh, a line from this midpoint here this is centroid centroid okay from there a line at 20 mm you draw a line at 20 mm because that which is the radius of the 
sphere okay this sphere is of radius 20 mm so from this centroid of this hexagon you draw a line at 20 mm and that point as center now you want to draw a circle this point as center you want to draw a circle so for that circle for in the case of isometric view the circle radius in isometric view will slightly increase so you you have to use an equation r1 equal to r by 0.82 Use this equation r1 equal to r divided by 0 0.82. r is equal to 20 and 20 by 0 0.82 will give you 24 mm. So 24 mm as radius and this point as center. Okay, this is 20 mm above. So 24 mm as radius and this point as center. You want to draw a circle. A circle of radius 24 mm and center as this point you can draw the hemisphere a sphere okay so now uh, for that one this this line will be uh, you, uh, these lines will be invisible lines so we'll just those lines we want to use dotted lines okay this line and this line uh, from here to here dotted line so we'll, ju we'll just make those lines dotted line okay we'll use some other uh, dotted line we want to use we will make this line this line all these lines are dotted lines this line this line this one this one this one this one and this one from here to here okay Th those lines should be dotted line so this is the isometric view you can erase this line now uh, we want to draw the uh, axis also so for that we want to draw a line from this centroid to this centroid okay draw a line from this centroid of this hexagon to the centroid of this base hexagon and that line should be chain line dotted line i mean chain line like this so now you got a 3d appearance This is how do you draw hexagonal uh, pyramid, the, the combination of hexagonal prism and sphere. Hope you understood this video. Thank you very much for listening to this. Thank you.